Good afternoon. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Okay. Now, what is um, Blood Bikes, please? Devon Freewheelers is a voluntary blood bike organisation, much like the ones that um, are in other counties and other parts of the uh, UK. It's totally free and we support the NHS at no cost to the patient and no cost to the NHS organisation. That's marvellous. We deliver, we deliver blood transfusion, uh, blood samples for testing, donor breast milk, medical supplies, surgical supplies, anything that is required by one organisation to another in an urgent sort of situation. Really? We'll take it for absolutely nothing and we have a, an absolute fleet and these are all the people volunteers. involved? These are all volunteers, we don't get paid anything, no. the charity doesn't get any government sponsorship, so we rely solely on members of the public for their generosity to keep the bikes on the road and yeah. keep serving the community as a, a free service. Yeah, it's marvellous. Yeah, well done everyone. So they'd be lost without you, wouldn't they? Well, the NHS, if you didn't have blood points, the NHS would be using taxis. Okay. And the taxis at uh, two o'clock in the morning at two pound a yeah. mile would soon throw the cost. Of course up. it so would. So the money we save the NHS yeah. means they can put that money to good other purposes. I think last year we saved the NHS about £260,000 solely for providing a blood bike service. It's incredible, charge. isn't it? So how does it work if it's two o'clock in the morning and somebody needs something? Who do they ring? They ring our controller, okay. our 0800 number. Uh, we have somebody on the, the, uh, the blood bikes on call in the yeah. four areas of Devon, north, east, south and west. Uh, so we have four volunteers on every single night of the year, really? 365 days a year. Um, so if it's two o'clock in the morning and the job comes in, the controller will ring that volunteer who's on call. They'll get out of bed, they'll put their leathers on and they'll go off into the sunset. Really? Not at 2 o'clock in the morning because there's no sunset. No. Sunrise. Yeah. Um, come wind, rain, shine, we're out there riding the bikes, serving the community. Fantastic. And how many hours are they? Are your volunteers here on a shift for? Four hours, two hours? So during the weekdays, they're on from 5 in the evening till 7 in the morning. Really? That long? Uh, that long. And a weekend, they're on a 24 hour shift from 7 in the morning through to 7 the next morning. So, if somebody's on from 5 in the evening till 7 the next morning, does that mean they've got to be free all that time in case they get a call? Absolutely. Really? Yeah, and a lot of these guys are still working. So yeah. So, they give up their time to uh, help provide the service. Yeah. Free of charge, at yeah. no cost to anybody. Yeah. Um, and they really are, all of them. Yeah, they look. Hidden heroes. Yeah, yeah, you are. Thank you all. And of course, they've got to make sure they've got petrol in their bike all the while. The bikes that um, are in front of you, behind you today, okay, are yeah. the charity's bikes. So we've got 12 fully marked operational bikes in the charity. All oh, right. Spread around the county. Yeah. Um, we've got a couple up in Barnstable, a few in East Devon, some down in the Torbay area, which is this area, and yeah. a couple down in the Plymouth area, so that the riders that live in those areas and share the bikes in their area. So if somebody gets a call, where will the bike be? Down the road? It'll be somewhere within their within area. Within their area. Yeah. It's That's normally a secure locker or a hospital or somewhere that all the riders in that area know how to go and access it. Yes, yeah. I see you've got one lady. Have you got any more ladies? Yes. Uh, oh you've got you have got ladies. Oh there's a lady at the back. Yeah, What's your name? Pleased to meet you. So it's for everybody then? So anyone oh, Absolutely, can... nobody's excluded. We've even got um, a Can-Am trike behind you there. Okay. Um, so anybody that um, feels the, the two-wheeled version of the bike's uh, a bit intimidating. Right. We've got another alternative. They've got that, yeah. You ready? It's very impressive. You're certainly doing good work. Now, if somebody wants to join, who do they, what do they do? If they look at our website, okay, okay, so just pump in devonfreewheelers.org.uk, yeah, uh, that will come up with um, our website, um, and there's lots of information on there with drop-down menus to introduce yourself, yeah. show your interest, yeah, um, and then our staff in the office, Vicky and Sammy, will get back to them um, right. for the next stage. Right, and what do they have to be um, experienced in? A right to be able well, to there's ride? There's only three criteria. Yeah. For becoming a rider, you have to be over 25, have a relatively clean license. Yeah. Yeah. 
and held an advanced rider certificate. Really? Either through the Institute of Advanced Motorists, which the Devon Advanced Motorcyclists, who've got a tent just down the road there, All right. um, do the training for us. Yeah. Or one of the other groups like Rosper or Emergency Services. Yeah. Riding. So it's quite strict then? Oh, absolutely. Just because of the nature of the yeah. riding we're doing. Uh, we've got to be safe on the road. Yeah. Um, we don't of have course. any exemptions of no. speed or anything like that. So we have to ride absolutely within the constraints of the highway code. Oh, do you? And we've got to do that safely. Yeah. There's no point in picking up a precious commodity like blood yeah. and not getting to point B. So if somebody will be relying on us. Of course. It's really serious. I mean, you said over 25. Is there an age when you say that that's you're a bit too older now? No. No. Every, every year, our riders yeah. have an official check. Oh, do they? Make sure the standard of the riding. That's really is good. Still up there at yeah. advanced level. Yeah. As long as you pass that every year, there is no age I see. upper limit. No. So at 90, you can still be doing it if you're fit Absolutely. enough. Absolutely. We've got people in the charity who are still riding at 82, 85, really? and they're damn good riders. Really. Well, it was marvellous speaking to you and the work you're doing is absolutely amazing, you know. Well, we like to think so. We think we do a good yeah. job. Yeah, um, yeah. When so the well, public, well done to you all. the public think so as well, it's an added bonus. And I suppose a lot of people like myself didn't realise that this goes on. But it's amazing the amount of people that live in the county, they've heard of blood bikes. Yeah. They give away in the name. Yeah. But people see our ID cards. Yeah. Uh, they see the NHS logo. Yeah. They just assume that we work for the NHS. Yeah. And they don't. We only have that logo on it because we have access to sensitive areas in hospitals, etc. Um, for us to go and pick up medication or blood or any other commodity. Yeah. We really are doing an emergency service. Well, it's a service I think the community can't do without. Of course not. Um, and obviously we're part of a, a nationwide network. Oh, of are you? Bikes. Um, oh, right. Every county, just about or every area, has a similar sort of setup. Oh, do they? So they're an independent charity. Yeah. Um, but all our policies and procedures, our riding standards, and our uniform, red shouldered, breast jackets, is a sign of a blood biker. Right. So if you see those anywhere in the country, really, give them away. Yeah, exactly. Them. Yes. Well, thank you so much for taking time out today for talking to me. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. And thank you all of you for all the tremendous work thank you. you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. And you're in charge of this team, are you? No. Oh. Russell here is our CEO. So you've got your... This, this man here? Russell. Oh, Russell. Russell you're in, you're in charge of them, are you? Is that... Is that we're why you've got a, a different t-shirt on? We're a team. Oh, you're a team? We're a team. Okay. If it weren't for these lads, we wouldn't be here. No, of course not. As, as you said, hidden heroes. Yes, yes. Is that why you've got a different t-shirt, though? No. Oh, I see. Why i got a t-shirt Okay. <laughs> I just wondered. With a leather jacket on and it's... Oh, like I it see. Quite, I see. I just though. wondered. This one's cooler. Well, I'm, I hope more people are going to be aware after this. Thank you. And spread the word. But thank you all so very much, and especially for today as well, taking time out, you know, for the charity of the NHS. I'll say goodbye. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.